Welcome to the K1 World Grand Prix 2014 Japan. This is the under 65 kg World Championship Tournament here at the Yogi National Stadium. I'm Russell Guru and with me I have Nicholas Pettis. Thank you. This is the quarter final. Yuta yeah. Kubo from the Crush Fame and has already has some uh, belts under his name versus uh, Raz Sarukishian from Armenia. We don't have a lot of information about uh, Raz, but uh, uh, Kubo. Uh, many about uh, many good fights. We'll see what the smiling sniper does Raz here. Raz has previously no! fought and fought in the twice and knocked him out back in 12. So he in is 12. a heavy hitter, very aggressive. And um, Yuta Kubo is just such an experienced fighter, mm. almost too handsome to be a fighter. <laughs> yeah, it's very deceptive because he doesn't look aggressive or anything, but his style is beautiful, actually. Yeah. Sometimes it kind of gives you strength ball. and a good good look. Yeah. So there's clearly a height difference here in the two fighters, so mm. we can see that um, you know Raz needs to get close enough, and then Yuta is also full oh, free a kick like that. Hey. Mm. Yeah, four, four centimeters difference in height, but yeah, it does look much bigger than that. Kind of. Yeah, I think it's bigger than that. Looks like seven, eight centimeters. Mm. Mm. But man, he looks physically super strong. Oh, yeah, you can, you can tell that. And like, ready to knock his opponent in the <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's what I was waiting for. Nice. If I had to give him a, a fight name, I would probably call you the Kubo. Like the smiling assassin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nice, he's really good at picking his shots and mm. understanding the situation he's in. This feels like one of those fights where anything can happen. If someone makes just a slight mistake, everything can go wrong. He's quick. He is very quick. Yeah, yeah, no, he's been throwing that left high kick very cleverly, actually. Kind of keeping him at a distance. And again, maybe Raz doesn't feel so comfortable fighting a southpaw. Tap, 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 you can see he's very clever when he's doing it. Oh, heavy shot there. Oh, nice one. It's not often you see that flipping kick in, mm. in, in kickboxing, especially not in, in, in Japanese kickboxing, or even in the K1 actually. But you often see that in karate as the Brazilian high kick. Ah. Like Glauber Feitoso was an absolute master of that kick. Yeah, he almost knocked out Sing Shuk. Mm. Knocked out Sing Shuk? Almost, almost yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. So, so he, he, yeah, he shook him. Shook the high tower. <laughs> oh boy, now what a high tower that is. So that was round one of uh, Kubo versus uh, Raz uh, Sarkichan from Armenia. But um, any thoughts there on round one? Well, I think it looks like he's telling his cornerman that he kind of feel like he got punched once when he did that. He did take a left hook at one point. I remember saying something about, wow, he's quick. Yeah. Um, not a not a, a high paced working rate for the first round. Yeah. There was a lot of like feeling each other out kind of thing. Uh, Kubo was very very um, focused on picking his shots cleverly. Yeah. I think we'll see a little bit more uh, aggressive round here uh, from Raz in the second one. So Kubo is previously fought in 67.5 kg, so sort of coming down a little bit. At this stage, the new kg. Yeah. Weight class here in the K1 uh, back in 2014. Here's Raz back and uh, looking ready for round two. Yeah. As uh, Smiling Assassin Kubo comes in. Getting a 
I did say he's going to come out and be more aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick has been right about these things many a time. So see, that he's already thrown three, four, um, you know, kicks to uh, Raz's arm there. Mm. And what that does is it just keeps him from coming. See, that's already mm. another one. Mm. Keep tapping at that arm, you know, and it's going to be hard for Raz to come in. And as long as Kubo keeps his long jab also, then he can basically keep him at bay like this for as long as he wants. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, right. Oh, but worthwhile. Yeah. You can tell what Raz wants to do. But having a hard time finding the time to get it going. Mm. But he's not hitting or kicking very hard. He's just doing more. I like that. So he sways a bit back from that kick. He's done it twice now. I'm just thinking, why doesn't he counterattack him? There's got to be something like something like that you could have done. Oh, oh yeah, Kubo coming in. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> nice throw, but Kubo thinks differently. Yeah. That was acting like. And the fact that he's moving away that far, I mean, he needs to be coming from the body line. Okay. Yeah. 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 Actually, speak louder than words there. Oh he boy. Can't get hurt there. Yeah. Look at him, he's yeah. like a... Let me hit him more, like let me hit him more. Bouncing tiger. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, but this is what's really good about Kubo. I mean, it's like, you know, when he sees an opportunity, he goes for everything. Again and again. Such simple, but such... Just textbooks. <laughs> Yeah. His fighting style is also super efficient because he's not moving and bouncing up around a lot. And when Raz Dash will come in and like unleash his arm, he's got good head movement so he can like uh, stick away from it. Nice. You see? He's gotten his forehead now all, <laughs> all swollen from the kick and punches that he's hitting with. Have a look at Raz's forehead when he when he faces the other way. Yeah. Oh. Man, yeah. that was a cleverly fought second round. Uh, clearly, that's a 10-9 that's for um, Kubo. Kubo, yeah. yeah. Let's have a look at Raz's forward now. It's not too bad. It's really style, you know, because I think he's the only fighter that I know that faces that way from the corner. Right, there. true. That's a good point. That was a fantastic Ooh. kick. He almost Ooh. had him. That's, yeah, this is the one where you're... Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> He's running away. Oh. 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 Yeah, clearly. I mean, he saw the, he saw the, the opportunity. But we see that's the four ended up swollen yeah. on the left side. That's but but that was kick. from the, the kick, yeah. yeah. And that's not, not the head back. I think I'm hearing Mike from Mike's gym yelling out something, maybe it's some, somebody else. Just a, um, as we go into round three here from um, a Kubo versus uh, Raz Sarukikian is round three. Yeah, Raz is going to have to like really like up the, the, the volume of what he's doing. You can see that he just wants to get started with it. And Kubo is just keeping him at bay so cleverly. Oh, you gotta go for it, man. You gotta go for it. Yeah, 
see how he's just completely controlling <laughs> the, the, the distance and where he wants to have him there. Very, very clever fighter. Cool. Oh, look nice. at high kick there. He almost connected with the second one. Good thing he's got a tough guard. I don't think that hurt. I think it was just more the, uh, the, the, the surprise. Was like, oh. yeah. I'm pretty sure Mike is calling out that he needs to be more aggressive. Than he <laughs> He's like, come on now. Somebody is, <laughs> yeah. I think Ross knows that. Yeah, this is not. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain what's going on psychologically because now he's moving around a lot and he hasn't felt an attack in a very long time. Right. Yeah. And he's having a really hard time letting those hands go. I also think it's just from the precision of, of Kubo's attacks that's holding him back. See? Oh, he's great move. Super dangerous. But even for Kubo, I guess. Oh, oh, you see? Yeah. He does not miss the opportunity if you give it to him. And that's what is keeping Graz from actually going for it. Even now, here in the last 10 seconds, that was it. He ran out of time. Yeah. Yeah, super clever fight, clear win for Kubo. Judging, yeah. And yeah, like I said, hardly anything Raz could do, especially in that last round. Yeah, no, he's really um, just keeping him at bay, exactly throwing enough attacks so that Raz never really gets started. And uh, the control of the fight was absolutely amazing. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was the K1 Grand Prix 2014 Japan under 65 kg World Championship Tournament. I'm Russell Goodall and Nicholas Pettis.